When you're dead, you're dead. Many years ago, there was a movie starring John Wayne. Of course, it was a cowboy movie. This young lady was lying on a rock. She had a gun in her hand. She was going to kill John Wayne as he went past because he had killed her kid brother. As he went past on his horse, she shot at him. He hit the dirt. She walked up to kick the corpse when suddenly he hit her in the back of the leg. She hit the dirt. He stood above her and she looked at him and said in unbelief, how could I have missed? And then in typical John Wayne fashion, he got his big hand, grabbed his shoulder, smeared the blood, rubbed it across her jacket and he said, you did it. Tough as John Wayne. He's the guy that's still shooting Indians with 200 arrows in his back. Well, that's Hollywood. But in real life, how did John Wayne die? Well, when he was dying in hospital, he called for Billy Graham to his bedside to pray with him. You see, there's a Hollywood world and there's a real world. The Hollywood part of you says, well, I'm not afraid of dying. When your number's up, it's up. When you're dead, you're dead. But the real part of you says, oh, I don't want to die. That cry, I don't want to die, is your God-given will to live. Listen to your will to live, because if there's one chance in a million that the Bible's right when it says Jesus Christ has abolished death, you owe it to your good sense just to listen to the claims of the gospel.